What's going on everybody? It's your boy Sheldon Day. We here live from Phoenix, Arizona at the Super Bowl house. We got players day off. I got my co-host Darnell Smith and a special guest, Darquez Denard, man. We gonna get into it today, man. So, Darquez, uh -oh. I'ma just jump it off. You went to Michigan State. You went to Michigan State. I can't even speak right because like I don't respect y'all that much. <laughs> oh my god. No but, respect? But I went to Notre Dame. So talk talk about that rivalry. Well, really, the beating that y'all took your whole time you was there. Jesus. He come at you hard, ain't he? Yeah, you're gonna start out rough, huh? My bad. Okay. I mean I gotta I gotta put uh, it out there. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> my last time playing them, we got shitted. The refs got paid off. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all I really remember. He said, I didn't like that script. <laughs> yeah, 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 I didn't yeah, like yeah. that script. <laughs> yeah, that, that one got rolled off. So, so what I remember is it was a great game. Mm -hmm. Great game. They had the best corner duo ever. I think it was you and Trey at that point. Trey. They was locked down. I'm talking about they playing eight in the box, man on the outside, mm. beat, beat the corners when you win the game. Yeah. I think, I think they had about 10 PIs, though. One drop. What? I'm talking about wide receivers. <laughs> so like, let, let, let's no no no. Hold on, what's going on? What you trying to? Let me see it again. Wait, what was the moment they did? <laughs> and we had some slow receivers back then. We had Devars Daniels. Poo. We had Big Ife. Yep. Uh, Ife wasn't cool. Yeah, but no. I couldn't even tell you our third receiver was. So that's how when you slow though, that slow speed kind of throw you off a little bit. It's kind of it's kind of hard to read. I feel like that slow wiggle. You know what I mean? I give you that. But I mean, some people say corner hard. I don't think it's that hard. I mean, I'm, really? Yeah. You, so you, you honestly you, believe that? You telling me that's the hardest position? Yeah, by far. Why? Uh, because technically, we don't know where the receiver going. We're running backwards, mm -hmm. and it's all reaction. So your best athletes are on the outside, for sure. It is the hardest position. You don't know where the receiver going. All you is reacting off whatever the dude doing. So you don't think D-line harder than that? Uh, I mean, no. <laughs> So I, I'm, 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 <laughs> he said, uh, I mean, no. listen, and I'm a former D-tackle myself, but I, mean, I ain't gonna just, lie. Hand placement, good feet, you, you straight, leverage. That, that sounds like DB. You, you, you take your, I used to do I mean, pure you gotta step. run, though. Yeah, you pure step, stab, okay. and now, now, now I'm telling you where you're going. I can, I can jam you at the line, I can do all that. That's three yards. Now we talk about the other, you know, keep going. But then, look, he go uh, at the top of the route, you watch the hips. Oh, he go that way, oh, it's supposed. Right. Oh, he's. Tight, that's a slant. Okay. Come on now. Hey, hey how are you? Y'all got help too, though. Yeah. Y'all got help over the time. We ain't got no help. You just heard what he said. What'd he say? Michigan State, line up. Hey, mono, <laughs> mono. We play zero. <laughs> man <laughs> on man. Man on man. Hey, we playing me ball. <laughs> you got him. You got him. That's how we play. And that's that. I hear you, man. So it, we, it, it ain't no help. It depends how you define hard, right? Like yeah. it depends on your I, heart. I think defensive alignment, like the position, is. I mean, it's, it's a, like a car crash every single play. Mm -hmm. It's it's more physical, obviously. It's more yeah. physically bearing on your body. True. But talking about just difficulty for our skill, though, and just like he said, not knowing what they're gonna do, especially in man coverage. Zone a little yeah, different yeah, conversation. Yeah, I give you that. Zone, you kind of you got a spot. You know, it's different. But with man coverage, I gotta lean towards my guy Darquez. It's like man, that's tough, bro. These receivers are so damn athletic nowadays too. Keep it real, Shell. But then it's, now it's like, all right, what if I go play zone half the game? So now he only playing hard half the game? Now that changes the game. I, you know what zone mean? at home. I can do zone. <laughs> I can drop back in the flat to just sit and, and, and watch the quarterback's eyes. I can do that. You could cover two corner, cloud corner? Easy. With the safety over the top? Easy. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh, man. Nah, I definitely feel that. So, best man corner in Michigan State history, in my opinion, you about to go to the draft. Walk us through that process, mm -hmm. what it's like. Let's talk about the senior bowl, all the expectation and hype going into that. Just kind of walk us through that that whole little two, three months leading up to it. Okay. Uh, so at the time, we had a, a really deep class mm -hmm. of seniors. Uh, so I was the senior bowl. I didn't play at the senior bowl. Got invited, and really I was waiting on to see. At the time, it's me and Justin Gilbert mm, okay. uh, battling to be who gonna be like the number one corner, uh, mm -hmm. basically pick. So uh, he didn't do. Whatever he didn't do, I didn't do it. So I kind of like matched his energy to that. Uh, it was cool though, the process. Obviously you get to you know meet all these guys, mm -hmm. uh, like Justin Gilbert, uh, Jason Verrett, mm -hmm. um, Bradley Roby, you got Jimmy Ward, Dang, you got Jimmy Kyle Bryce. Fuller. All of us Crazy were in the first. Class. Crazy class. So all of us, like, all of us were in the first, uh, which I was able to see guys that I watched you know, throughout college and 
huge fans was. So uh, it was a cool experience uh, for me to be able to meet the guys that, you know, lined up against mm -hmm. and seeing them on TV and having a conversation with them and, you know, obviously competing and uh, talking shits and, you know, who the best. Uh, yeah. But it was a good experience. Yeah, for sure. You talk about that, that, that draft class, being drafted first round. When you got to Cincinnati, how like how was the expectation set mm. and what is what does it mean to be draft first round? Like, did you feel a sign of relief or did you feel the pressure? Uh, so, uh, let me see. I don't, I wouldn't say I felt any pressure because mm -hmm. uh, there's never no pressure. I mean, we playing. Let's be real. I know what pressure for real is. Yeah, uh, true. You know, the sports, football, this, you know, this stuff was easy. So when that in that form, when I got drafted to Cincinnati, I was really upset. Two things, I slid in the draft, mm -hmm. one. Uh, second was, I knew I wouldn't go play. Uh, at the time, you know, I was a, it was what? It's 11 DBs in the, in the secondary that's mm -hmm. on the roster. Uh, I want to say seven of us went in the first round. Yep. So I'm in a, I mean, it was cool because I was able to see, you know, guys that I grew up watching. You know, Terrence Newman, uh, Leon Hall, mm -hmm. Adam Patman Jones, uh, Reggie Nelson, Drake Kirkpatrick. Ooh, uh, guys, man. <laughs> uh, Taylor Mays was, yeah. was there, George Aloka, like uh, Sean Williams. There's a bunch of guys uh, that was there. I was able to, you know, come in and learn from. Actually, I think that, I, not, I don't think, I know it prolonged my career uh, mm -hmm. just being around those guys and them teaching me, you know, the little things, you know, the yeah. tricks of the trades and yeah. just being a pro. Uh, so I think it really wasn't no pressure for real. I was just super excited, more frustrated than anything because I wasn't yeah. able to, you know, play uh, for real just because of, you know, the experience and the dip of the guys that was in front of me. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it was a really good experience though. No, for sure, man. And I switching gears slightly here. You mentioned some of your some of your vets uh, on Cincinnati. One of the guys was Adam Pacman Jones, a guy who who's, who I'm cool with. We know he's a character, a big personality. But just looking back, is this like a, a funny story or just like rookie year, just being in the locker room that you could think of that, that involves Pacman Jones? Uh, so Pat is like my, literally my big brother. Uh, so I got the phone with him yesterday. Yeah. So this is somebody I talk to every day, uh, damn near. Uh, so I feel like everything, I mean, me, as soon as I got drafted, he was one of the first people that called me and was excited for, you know, for me to even get there. So, mm -hmm. uh, man, it's so many stories of, uh, uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> man, but when I, t uh, I, I will say, uh, obviously you hear a lot of things, uh, about him, uh, you know, especially just off the field, but mm -hmm. as a person, uh, you know, and as a competitor, uh, he, Gonna, you know what you're going to get from him. Every time he show up, he's going to put in max effort. He's going to be prepared. He's going to make it, make sure everybody else prepared. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, he's going to always be the life of the party, uh, for sure, 1,000%. Uh, I think uh, I'm trying to think of a, a story. Uh, it could be in locker room. It could be – That's – Appropriate. <laughs> <That's saying. laughs> you ain't gotta give all the, all the specifics, you know what I mean? We ain't trying to, a, you know. That's a that's appropriate. Uh, let me see. Uh, I mean, I could tell you one just uh, recent uh, this year uh, training camp. Uh, he came to the 49ers training camp mm -hmm. uh, and was able to watch me practice. And you know, the first time he seen me and see me do, you know, I do a one on one rep. I, do good, get a pass breakup, and I don't show no emotion. The first thing you do, you cuss me out. Mm. Emotion know? is big, yep. Emotion Always. is big. Yeah. Uh, that's something that, you know, we don't really, once you play the game for a long time, yep. it's kind of like, oh, it's my everyday thing, because yep. I did something that I'm supposed to do. But uh, by him, you know, that's, that's packed. You're going to yep. get in my ass anytime, you know, you needed it. Yeah. And by him, you know, Basically, let me know, like, hey, man, you out here, you need to show this. This what we at. Like, this what we doing. You got to be this mm -hmm. all the time. So, like, for that alone, you know, somebody who is retired don't even have to have that conversation with me. Uh, go out of his way and, you know, purposely do it. That says a lot about him as a person. So, uh, yeah, shout out to Pat, man. Shout out to Pat, man. man. Yeah, that's, I, that's real, man. You got to celebrate the success yeah, at all times. So, yeah. even when it gets monotonous, you got to continue to live in the moment. Got so, to. yeah, and no, I respect that for sure. Got to. And we talk about the Niners and last year. So, like, yeah. what's, it, what's it look like for Darquez moving forward? 
Oh uh, man, uh, sky's the limit. Mm. Uh, man, the limit is is limitless. Honestly, uh, just the just the possibilities. Obviously, playing this great game, I still got a lot left in the tank to be able to go compete and play, uh, of course. And then along uh, with that, I got a few you know business ventures and mm -hmm. uh, stuff going on with my foundation as well. So uh, it's a Quite a few things that you guys can watch out for. Hopefully, you still see me on Sundays. But if not, uh, you know you can get on Instagrams uh, or you know the internet. Check out my foundation. Check out the things what I'm doing with daily deposits. Uh, win the day. Mm, okay. uh, Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, win the day. I like, I like the merch. Yeah. So you know, uh, daily deposits. Uh, we gonna have daily deposits. Is the the brand. It's a lifestyle brand. So basically. Uh, it's basically you being a better version of yourself that you was yesterday. Mm, uh, okay. You putting, you know, basically you win the day. So you wake up, you got tomorrow never comes, right? right? So you putting all your efforts in, maximizing with, with the time you got today to, you know, get closer to your dreams and knowing like you keep putting those deposits in, it's going to add it up to a, a major bonus. That's why you able was able to see me play at the highest level, mm. not because I wasn't, you know, uh, talented, I was the most talented. Like I said uh, earlier, uh, you know, I wasn't the best player on my high school team. So I just really stayed down, grinded, and you know, prayed. And you know, God was great as yeah. He always is. All so, the time. Yeah. That's for sure. That's for sure. My man dropping gems today, boy. He got me over here ready to run through a brick wall. <laughs> boy. For real. Yeah. Put my deposit in. So, yeah. we, since we on the topic of off the field. Yep. We kind of touched a little bit before we, we start shooting that. You want 10? Oh, man. 10 kids? Like, 10, yeah. So so where did that come from? I know, like, I'm from a big family. I, don't, I got, I got. so I'm the youngest of nine. Okay. And I don't know if I can have 10 of them little things running around, little children running I don't know. So I, I want to hear your perspective, and then I'll give you mine. Okay, so my perspective is, uh, so I always wanted a, a big family. So I, my grandparents, you know, my grandma got... She, 15 brothers and sisters, I swear somebody else come out uh, every other year. Uh, same thing with my, my granddad and well as my dad's side as well. So I got come from a big family. I always wanted a lot of kids. And to me, me personally, the reason why I want a lot of kids is, you know, these are my best friends. These are me yeah. uh, into the world. I know what type of person I am and what I bring to bring value to the world and bring, you know, basically, I think I make a difference. Uh, so mm. by me bringing in, you know, ten individuals with my same bloodline, my same gen, you know, gene mm -hmm. makeup. Uh, what can we, you know, have in the world? You know, doctor, lawyer. Uh, yeah. You know, it's limitless. Like I said, uh, sure. for me, that's why I want to be, you know, a father of ten, where I can, you know, be a soccer dad and be proud of my kids going to, you know, different events and. Showing love, so nah, yeah. I feel that. So you said soccer dad, though. You're soccer not gonna let dad. your yo yo younger boys and girls play uh, flag football and I mean, the tackle? let's be real. You got you got one football player in the family. Mm -hmm. Let's try something else. Let's be Ooh, basketball. I like that. I like let's that. Be baseball. Let's mm -hmm. be tennis. You know, yeah. we like already that. did that. We know we can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, why do the same thing? I mean, uh, listen, ten. He gonna have two star lineups on the basketball court. You, you know, know what I mean? <laughs> like. I mean, somebody got to win. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's, Your let's, eyes is how you roll that dice. You yeah. win, somebody, somebody got to win, whether it's sports, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It can, be, it can be anything. Like, uh, I think that's the, the, the thing that I'm really trying to drill into these kids when I mm -hmm. go see them with my foundation, especially, like, obviously they see me and know me as, you know, Dark Way as the football player, but, like, I tell them, like, don't be me. Be the dude who cut me the check. Mm -hmm. Why not be the owner? Uh, it's a lot of people that's behind the, behind the camera, behind the scenes that make a major things and you never know. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, like I say, you know, don't really look at, I think we as a people just see everything, you know, from the TV and mm -hmm. a lot of times that was, you know, our real, like that was real to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We don't really know the capabilities that we actually have out here in this world. So like, that's the main thing for me is just pushing the envelope. Like, you more than a football player. Like, this yeah. is the start. Like, you guys are getting to know me as a start because of football was the blessing. That was my platform that God gave me to, you know, obviously 
be a blessing to the world, but I'm more than that, like uh, yeah. way more than that. Uh, sure. So that's why I just really like push. No, that's respect. Yeah, I, I love it. I love it, man. That's real, man. He's, he's dropping the real gems, man, for the for the young guys in the league right now that's tuning in. Yeah, listen to this game because it's free. Free. And he's giving it to you. And man. it's premium. Come it's, on now, <laughs> yeah. you can't do that. Yeah. Can't beat that. For Come sure. On. For sure, yeah. man. Now before we close out, man, you from Georgia? Yep. I gotta ask you this. I feel like Atlanta's kind of taking over like the culture, the mm. rap game. I gotta ask you, who's your top three Georgia rappers? Top three. That's tough. <laughs> Dang. Talk to me. Shout out to the A, man. Shout out to Georgia. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm obviously my top three are a little biased. I'm just gonna go off uh, my my playlist and like what I like. Uh, First and foremost, I think number one got to be Young Jeezy. It's somebody that I, you know, throw a motivation trap or die. Okay. Like, you know, this is basically, you know, you able to see me. Yeah. For real, for real. Like, I was able, you know, listening to that. Uh, it motivated me to be able to chase these dreams that mm -hmm. I'm currently still chasing and still trying to achieve. So, Young Jeezy is one. Uh, let me see. It's a lot of them. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a just gonna say, gotta shout out my dog Quan, mm -hmm. Rich Homie Quan. All right, all right. Shout out to, shout out to RHQ and the family. Mm -hmm. uh, my dogs. Uh, let me see, that's two. Yeah. And he gonna need somebody else. That's what I'm saying. Sorry, three. Somebody, somebody yeah. in the dog. Somebody <laughs> We're gonna say he hot right now. We gotta, gotta say little baby. Okay, okay. okay. Gotta say yeah, little baby. Okay. Hey, free free YSL, free thug though, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the family. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Freedom boys here backwards. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's real. Man, so look, the crazy thing is you left Gucci Mane off that. I don't know. I, I I'm taking offense. Cause I'm a Gucci fan. We love. We we've made it now, but we we rock with Gucci Ooh, heavy. heavy. Okay, so uh, burr. As y'all have seen, part of these what, these last couple of years with the verses, I can't remember mm -hmm. the M and mm -hmm. verses. Was so crazy. that's like you know, yeah. If you're really from, you know, I feel it. I feel it. It was either either or. It can't yep. be, but it can be both. Yeah. So you know, obviously, I listen to Gucci here and there. You know, I like I like first day out. <laughs> I think first day out. Ooh, hard. first day out. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. So I like I like first day out. That was good. Come on, man. That's on the spot with a little sport. Hey. You already know it's time to go to work. Yeah. Come on, man. Uh, ah, it's a little too much. Uh, <laughs> Sheldon, bro. We need this. Where you used to walk? We need this. Jeez. Around that corner. <laughs> right on Flintwood. Okay. Yeah. Packing bags, shawty. What well, a hundred pounds are good. We I was, was trapping like a fool. Me and that bad fool kept that oh, two. Oh. Didn't go to school. Okay. Go Come on, man. bro. Big goo up, man. Stop playing with it. Yeah. But I love Jesus too. Ain't yeah, no Jesus go crazy. Jesus go crazy. Jesus go Shout out to Gucci. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. That's all we needed. That's, That's all, all we needed. Shout out to Gucci. He yeah. okay. Shout out to Georgia. I mean, yeah. we the, we the lane. We the culture. Nah, for real. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We the culture. Like with with everything, fashion, music, sports. Ah, ah, we almost said almost. Yeah, I gotta say, yeah, I gotta gotta say sports. sports. I thought you were leave it out there. Yeah. What you mean? You, so, sports? Just think about it. Texas, we, we, Texas is way better than y'all sports. No, you can't say Florida. That. You can't say that. Why, why not? Because you, if you're gonna got to think about the population. Now you're going to get the 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 best rare run athlete. You got to come to Georgia. That's what that's what anything. We we're, mm -hmm. we're we are the most. I think you can go look this up. Quarterbacks, offensive tackles, offensive guard, defensive tackle, defensive end, wide receiver, running backs. We'll look position. at it. Every yeah, position. We might have to fact check you on yeah, that. Every position. Just, just think about it. The last couple, first, first overall picks, they came from Georgia. If it depends on popular, because because I also know, yeah. like Cali got everybody, but Cali's yeah. so big, it's kind of hard to yeah. really. Texas is yeah. big. I thought Florida was only comparable to Georgia, but like I didn't see. Now Florida is big though. Yeah. But you got to like again, you know, you go look at the last couple picks. First round picks like uh, the dude from Jacksonville. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he from Georgia. He from Georgia. Trevor Lawrence. He from Georgia. Mm -hmm. so, you know. Okay. 
Go back. Okay, you, got, you got a little facts. Go Don't sleep on that town, though. Yeah. I mean, we got my boy Sheldon Day yeah, right here, man. man. Na- David Na- Bell, man. We got some people from that nap in this league, man. I respect that time. Yeah, yeah. I respect that time. My dog came from that yeah. time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Isaiah, yeah. Isaiah Lewis, you know? Yeah, uh, Ben Davis, boy. Ben Davis. That's the thing, yeah. yeah. We don't rock with Ben Davis. We yeah. went to Warren. Okay, my fault. You know what I mean? It's West Side. We far east side. My fault. I rock with Isaiah, though. He's a good dude. Isaiah's a good dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, I said Ben Davis. I'm with Isaiah. That. He associated himself with it though. You might get Isaiah on players. They often talk yeah, about we that. We got to tap in. We got to tap in. Yeah, man. Nap time. Yeah. I respect it. <laughs> I respect it. Well, we respect yeah. you too, my brother. We appreciate you for taking the time. Yeah. Man, win the day. Make sure y'all, y'all support the brand. And uh, man, continue blessings moving nah, forward, my guy. Thank you, man. I appreciate yeah. you guys. Appreciate sure. you having on. Hey, man. Shout out to that boy, Dark Quest Denard. My hope, my co-host, Darnell Smith. We tapping out as the players' day off. Come on, man. Super Bowl editions.